Hello, hello, amazing humans. It is Carolee, and I want to talk to you about this new tool that I ran across that can do so many things like breaking down uh, projects into individual tasks and a few other things. And so it is mobile friendly, at least as I'm recording this for Android, and it says coming soon for Apple. So if you're watching this in the future, maybe it's on Apple already. But there, this is so cool. So I'm actually going to... Um, work like check this out with you live i've kind of used it on my phone just for a couple of things and it really is really cool but i've only used one part of the of this thing so i want to share it with you i'm, I'm gonna have fun okay so if you struggle with um breaking down tasks like <laughs> here is a really cool app it's called goblin.tools and it's free like and, and that's what makes it even cooler. So for example, what in the world do we want to break down? All right, so for this one, how to make coffee, okay? This one's pretty simple, all right? So I know over here is how detailed do you want it? Like how, how much breaking down do you need? Do we need just a tiny bit or do we need a lot? All right, and so the default is right here in the middle, and so that's where I'm gonna keep it, but this is how much breaking down you need, and you can always do it afterwards. So you press, the little plus button and press the little magic uh, button here and it is going to now break it down for us. So this is what AI can do, which is really freaking cool in my opinion. Breaking down tasks for neurodivergence is actually kind of difficult, okay? And so this is a tool that you can use to be able to support you in breaking down some tasks, okay? So how to make coffee. If you have, if you don't know, I'm a coffee addict. So how to make coffee? Like I know how to make coffee, but like what if I didn't? Okay, now it's telling me to grab the necessary materials and ingredients, grind the coffee beans if using whole beans, measure out the desired amount of coffee grounds, whatever it is here. You can actually click the little magic to do thing right here if you want more and want it broken down more. Okay, so you can edit it here, you can remove it, you can add a subtask to it. Okay, so, or you can clear them. So let's say we want this one broke. Grab the necessary materials and ingredients. Like, okay, well, what are those, right? What are those necessary ingredients and materials? So now it broke it down even more because we're like, okay, I need more clarity on this task. So now we're going to identify a recipe or product that requires the materials and ingredients. Create a list of required materials and ingredients. Check inventory to see what items are already on hand. Make a list of missing items. Determine the quantity. Okay, so this one... Not so much. All right, so let's go ahead. So it doesn't work quite as well for that. Good to know. But let's see. We're going to go ahead and just clear all of this, okay? Because this one didn't work quite as far, as well as we wanted. But this is how this is how this goes. Like we're going to see how this works. All right. So we're actually just going to remove the whole thing. Actually, so I asked my husband. I was like, "Hey, what do you want to put in here?" And he said, "Build a." Gaze oops, gazebo. Okay. I want to build a gazebo. That's what I want in here. Oh, I see it. It is down here. There it goes. Gonna what oh, I mean it's gonna give it a construction type of thing. So it, it labels it by what it kind of is. The other one had a cheeseburger. <laughs> so it's a food, apparently. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so build a gazebo. So this one's kind of cool. Build or choose a location for a gazebo, measure and mark the area different things like that. Okay, cool. So if we press add a subtask, we can literally elaborate here. It looks like, oh, and then you could have it do magic again. So let's see what, if we choose the location for gazebo. So let's see what the magic right does for us or the magic to do, excuse me. Okay, so this one, this one works really well. So some of them might work great and some of them might not. So this one is like choose a location of the gazebo. Now we break it down even farther. Consider the purpose of the gazebo. Determine the desired environment for the gazebo. Research suitable locations based on the purpose and environment. Visit potential locations and assess feasibility. So some of these are going to be great and some of them not so much. But it could be because there's so many ways to do certain things like how to make coffee. Uh, but if I could have been more specific, maybe, then we could figure that one out. So let's let's try it. So we have this one here. So we're just going to go ahead and remove it, though. Okay. How to make coffee in a Keurig. Okay. So that one might be more specific. Now it's going to give me something a little bit more. All right. 
how to make coffee in a Keurig, maybe even coffee maker if I needed to add that in the bottom. So AI is only as good as the things that we put into it. So if it's not giving you what you want, we need to do a little bit more. All right, so here it is. First, locate your Keurig machine, plug it in and turn it on, lift the lid. Okay, so this one gave a lot better um, instructions. So that is how you can use this one. Play around with it. If you use this, totally let me know in the comments what you are thinking of it. This was totally a tool that could be a game changer for so many people. Sorry, because as you can see here, you can use it on Android, not Apple. All right, so here are the ones. So I've used this one a little bit, but I have not used these other ones. So formalizer, so that was the magic to do. This one's a formalizer. So it says, turn the spicy thoughts into classy ones or vice versa. Okay, so then it tells you how, how do you want it to look. So what should we put in here? So I'm gonna put a more classy one and we can turn it into something spicy maybe. All right, we'll see. All right, so what is something classy? My name is Tara Lee, and I'm a systems strategist and accountability coach. All right, so I have no idea if this is going to, we want to make it more informal, right? That's what we want to do for this one, because this one's super, this is just, let's see, let's see what it does. I have no idea. All right, nope, so this one didn't work very well for that. It's just making it, you know, more sociable. Does what sociable mean? Okay, more sociable is more of like a conversation thing. Hey there, I'm Carol Lee, and I help people get organized and stay on track as a system strategist and accountability coach. Nice to meet you. Okay, cool. That was helpful, right? That was helpful. All right, cool, cool. All right, so let's see. You can essentially copy these things. Copy to the clipboard. Cool. You don't actually need to. Oh, hey, you don't. You don't delete. All right, so let's delete this. Let's try something else. Your meeting is scheduled for tomorrow at 3 p.m. I look forward to chatting then. Okay, so let's see if we can't get this even more formal. Let's see what it says if we do it more formal than what I already have, because that's pretty straight, kind of, okay, so this kind of made it, turned it into a little bit of an email, a little bit, okay, so dear whomever, um, I would like to inform you that our scheduled meeting is set for tomorrow at 3 p.m. I'm eagerly anticipating our discussion at that time, sincerely, and then your name. Dude, that was great. Oh my gosh, that was so cool, okay, so play around with this a little bit, all right, and again, this how strongly do you want the text to come across, right? So then here is, you know, not too much. Let's see if we put it like really strong, like how strong and see what this one does. <laughs> it would be my utmost privilege to inform you that, that an appointment that has been set for tomorrow to be held at precisely three o'clock in the afternoon. I eagerly anticipate the opportunity to converse with you during said meeting. Wow, that is definitely more more formal. All right, so I couldn't think of anything super, like turned into something super spicy. Let's see if we can go the opposite, less emotional, more passionate. Let's see if we can do something passionate. I'm just having fun playing around with this one. This one you can totally use as um, an entrepreneur for sure. All right, let's see if we can spice something up. And this is kind of fun. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. It feels like eons have passed since I last saw your beautiful face and I am passionately bursting with excitement at the mere thought of chatting with you. I have circled the date on my calendar in a glitter pen and have been counting down the hours, minutes, and seconds until we reunite. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. cannot arrive quickly enough. Okay, that was pretty cool. I do like that. Like that is some definite passion. All right, so go ahead and play around with that. That was so fun. Okay, so next one is the judge. Am I misreading the tone of this? Hey, Joe, I wanted to let you know that James's condo cleaning is required one and a half hours. If that means slowing down, please do so. That will be to ensure you're not missing anything and doing a thorough job. When I cleaned, this was how long each section took, if this is helpful. And we break it down. Okay, so let's see if I'm misreading the tone. Let's see what happens here, because this is something I sent to somebody before. And we'll see what it comes. The text comes across as informative and instructional. There is no discernible motion tone conveyed in the text. It is simply a clear set of guidelines for how long a cleaning job should take and tips on how to ensure a thorough job is done within the given time frame. Boom. Okay, so if you're not sure how someone is going to take something, this is fantastic. Okay, it gives you a little bit of a judgment here. Perfect. This was fun. Okay, great. You should totally let me know if you use this one. This one's so cool.
So cool. Oh, all of them are so far. All right. So then there's the next one. This next one is called the estimator. Just tell me how long this is going to probably take. <laughs> probably going to take, right? Okay, the estimator. Who in the world has time blindness? Who in the world is like awful at estimating things? Now, this might not be super accurate. I have no idea. But let's let's see. Decluttering my email. Let's see. One to three hours. That could be accurate. Okay. So how hard is it to focus on this activity? Oh, the spiciness levels. How hard is it to focus on this activity? Oh, it, we are going full on super struggle. That is fan fantastic. So this one, if you put it like it's going to be so hard, two to four hours to declutter your email. I like it. I like it. Okay. Let's see. Create a Canva graphic. And this is really hard to focus. Okay. We're going to keep it at that one. One to three hours. Okay. Let's see. We can hyper focus on this one. Like we are, this is going to be super easy. One to two hours. So it can give you a nice rough estimate on something. Okay. You should totally, like this one could be a game changer for you. If you're really, really, if you do struggle to estimate things. Okay. Compiler. What is this last one? Compile my brain dump into a list of tasks. Oh, okay. Okay. I hear you. All right, so I've grabbed a brain dump and we're gonna see what in the world this turns us into, all right? All right, so this was the brain dump. You can see here, this is what I copied. All right, so there's quite a bit of things there. And then this is what it compiled it into. Oh my gosh, that was so much shorter. <laughs> they took all, all that, that, this was how long that thing was. It was able to identify what the actual tasks were. So that's really cool. So this was the actual, what we were doing. We're gonna conduct market research, use storytelling, create a unique headline, focus on the outcome. This is this is decent, this is, this is good. I didn't get a good brain dump because my brain dumps are already a list of tasks. So um, try this out, um, see how it works for you. And let me know below what your biggest takeaway was. And if you want to share any of the things that it did for you in the comments below, that would be pretty awesome. Let me know if you want to see more things like this. I can go in depth into different tools that I have found and use um, and be able to explore them with you. I absolutely love just digging into new things and giving things reviews as far as like, do these work and how do they work? Giving some real time, um, like giving some like, literally like I just did that in real time. I hadn't used those other ones before. And so it was really, really cool. So let me know what you think below. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel as I drop one new video every single week so that you as a neurodivergent entrepreneur have the tools to get things done and make it as easy as possible. Okay. This tool could be game changer for you. Okay. Let me know if you're using it. Let me know what you think and make sure you subscribe.